Um, let's go ahead and open the inspector here. I'm going to add some screens. So choose uh, choose pizza. So of course, I don't have any of any um, pizza screens here yet. Uh, you know, you can see some of the screens with the other processes. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Uh, this is going to be the pizza selection screen. Choose a pizza. It's regular form. I'm just going to add it to my process. All right. And so now this is the screen builder that we'll already used to. But on top of all the controls that we have, we have an AI generated control as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to it. And when we select it, we have an opportunity to enter some text of what we want. Now, what's interesting about this uh, AI generation control, we can be very specific and have, you know, just a field, or we can be very, very detailed and have fully fleshed out forms. So let's try that a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for something very specific. Um, first name, last name, and let's say birthday, birth date. So very, you know, very lightweight requirement. And you can see it's suggesting me, you know, very three simple uh, fields, first name, last name, and birth date. You can see it recognizes the data type pretty neatly. So this is, you know, on the kind of on the low end. And on the other end, we can be, you know, create a, uh, a loan application form. So I'm not providing any detail or context just to see how that works. And here it is. And, you know, as you can see, it's, you know, suggesting what a regular loan application is. And I can move this around. I can edit my prompt. I can tweak it. Or once I apply changes, it creates all the elements here in a, in a table, which means I can move it around. If I have other elements, I can place them wherever I want um, and just customize it. And you notice it's creating all the variables, all the labels, uh, all the field types. We can just preview this.